Okay, hi guys. So today I'm just testing out the Elgato HD Capture and its live com feature. So we're going to go into a level here. Um, I just wanted to show that this is really a fantastic way to do live com playthroughs. I think it's really going to help out people so much. The best thing about it is the fact that you can basically... Oh, hang on, we've got to watch out for this lava here. I forget how to do this now. I'm going to shoot it. Oh no, you can just go around the edge if we're super careful. Oh god! Uh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I wanted to do this as like a, an experiment for myself as much as anything else. Oh my god. Ooh, right, we're really starting to feel the pain here. I need some of this water. Go and dodge around this guy. Um, yeah, basically, as I say, the, the great thing about this, alright, is that um, it records your audio in the video program um, at the same time as all the game audio and stuff. You can even set it to duck if you want to, but don't really need to do that on most of the time. Um, but yeah, the thing that's so fantastic about it is that you can just export your video straight afterwards. Um, and that's it. You can just upload it to YouTube. So there's no editing required. You don't have to sync your audio. Your audio will always be perfectly synced because you're just you know, you're recording it at the same time. It's something people have always wanted to do for playthroughs, and I think people still don't know hugely about it, but when they do start to realise that this is the case, I'm not going in there with that little lava droplet. When they do start to realise that you can actually do this, it's going to be a huge benefit for people. So I wanted to just make this incredibly short video, just as kind of like a technical test today, just to show people what it can do. Now there's some downsides, oh my god, you see that lava right above me? There are some downsides to it, which is that obviously you don't have the ability to cut anything out of it. I need to get out of here and find some water. Get our little guy right here. Yeah, the downsides, you, you can't obviously um, cut anything out of it, so if you have a massive coughing attack, you may not be able to, to do anything about it. The benefit is that on my mic I actually have a mute button right here, so if I needed a bad <laughs> cough attack or something, I can just mute quickly. And for the most part, hopefully, people wouldn't necessarily notice. So it's all good there, uh, and I'm sure you know you can afford the odd quiet moment here or there. So you can see though that right now this is really easy, and it also is going to be fantastic because console gamers for ages have really hated the fact that, um, for for example, FPS games, they haven't been able to live com with their friends. But with this, what you can do is you can set your console to send your audio signals from the game, you can set up your audio levels correctly, and then you can record your own mic at the same time. The only downside with this thing is that you obviously have to you know, attach a USB mic to the actual uh, the computer itself. You can't do it fully through your console or whatever. You have to do it, um, trying to not get drowned away here, you have to do it via the computer. But if you've got a USB mic, that's really no problem. So it's all really good to be honest. So that was just this little test today, guys. I'm just going to exit the level in a second. But um, this is a test for myself as much as anything else because I wanted to hear the, uh, the quality that was available to me. I wanted to hear, I'm going to watch out for this lava because I remember no secret level down here though. Look how much lava we got here, got to be careful. Um, I wanted to just hear how, how this sounds and what it is. I actually set my mic to a slightly different setup. In another video um, and explain about what I set it to. I mean, well, I can explain actually. Uh, I mean, some people may not know. If you have a Yeti microphone, if you have a Blue Yeti mic, you can set it to all different directional things. Now, normally you have it set on cartoid, and, and that is like a straight direction for podcasting and in general, um, but it also has a bi directional option. Now, I've just tested, and the cartoid one, it sounds kind of lightweight. It doesn't have a lot of depth to the voice. So I've set it to this bi option, and you can hear that basically my voice sounds a little bit better. Um, the, the mics tend to often naturally slightly alter the sound of your voice ever so slightly they seem to lighten it off um, but with this it seems to to keep it more in line with what it should be so that's been this little test the benefit the, the best thing about it of all is that literally once I complete this in a moment all I have to do is literally click export it'll make a small file this is a four minute video that's probably going to come in around 500 meg okay that is a small file and then a smaller file I can upload quicker to YouTube so if you're a let's player or a playthrough this is really what you want to be doing Thanks for watching this one guys and I'll see you very soon.